Hello, my name is Megan and I am one of the Student Success Advisors at ICANN. Today I'm going to be talking about the transition from middle school to high school. One of my goals as a Student Success Advisor is to make sure that your transition from middle school to high school is a successful one. The good news is your freshman year of high school is a brand new start. The next four years really help lay the foundation for everything that is to come. There are lots of options available and it is important to start thinking about what your future looks like and how it is that you're going to get there. Will you go to a four-year college, a trade school, apprenticeship, get a two-year degree? There are lots of options for students. It can be overwhelming at times, but we are here to help you with the planning process. It's important to get involved so that you can learn about your interests, abilities, and values. One of the best ways to do this is by taking part in volunteer opportunities, internships, and job shadows. There is a great resource out there for students. Make sure to contact your local intermediary network or work with your high school counselor to get in touch with them. They help specialize in placing students in volunteer, job shadow, and internship opportunities. One of the ways we help students prepare for college and career planning is by utilizing a service called ACT Profile. ACT Profile helps students identify potential careers and majors based upon their interests, abilities, and values. Students will take an interest, abilities, and values inventory. It then will link them to different careers and majors that fit their inventories. I recommend students retake the ACT Profile every six months. As your life experiences change, it's probable that your interests, abilities, and values are also going to change. It's also important for students to start preparing academically while they are in high school. It's important that you meet with your high school counselor to go over your four-year plan. This plan really details out the courses that you need to be taking each semester of high school. It is really important that you are not only staying on track for high school graduation courses, but for college admission. One of the ways you can help prepare for life after high school is by taking core subject area courses. I recommend taking four years of your math, English, social studies, and foreign language. These courses also help prepare you for the workforce, apprenticeships, and career training programs. Another important part of high school is GPA, your grade point average. Colleges and universities consider your GPA when determining your admission status as it is an indicator of how well you are likely to perform at a college level. Colleges and universities are looking at your grades from all four years of high school. All four years of grades are extremely important in high school. Those grades start freshman year and work all the way through your senior year of high school. I am going to highlight a student here. As you can see, their freshman and sophomore year, they did relatively well. Junior year, they did a little bit better, and then their senior year, they really dipped in grades. Their overall GPA did not even hit the 3.0 that they received their freshman and sophomore year of high school. I used to work in college admissions, and it was always a red flag to me when I saw a student that did relatively well during their first few years of high school, and then really dipped in grades their senior year of high school. Senioritis never looks good. I would rather see a student that maybe started off a little rocky and worked their way up in grades. A consistent high school GPA is not only important for college admissions, but can also help you earn more free money for school for grants and scholarships. It's very important to be in touch with the college admissions staff at the college or university you are looking at going to in order to determine what they are looking for when admitting students into their school. Next, we're going to be talking about the RAI formula. The three state schools in Iowa, Iowa, Iowa State, and UNI use what's called the Iowa Board of Regents Admission Index, or the RAI. It's a formula that determines admission eligibility. The formula looks at GPA, ACT or SAT score, and core subject area courses completed. What they do is they add all of those element scores together to find your RAI score. If you have a 245 or higher, you are automatically entered into the three state schools in Iowa. If you have a 245 or less, you are under individual review by that school to see if they think you are ready for admission at their college. State schools and private institutions do not have a specific formula that they use, but they will be looking at the same criteria as the state institutions. Another really important part of high school is to make sure that you are getting involved. 
one important factor in admission and scholarship review is involvement outside of school. Colleges want to know how you do in the classroom, but they are also interested in how you choose to spend your time outside of the classroom. At the end of the school day when the bell rings, what are you doing? Do you participate in sports, band, drama, club? Do you have a part-time job? Do you volunteer? Colleges want to know that you do what you do in your spare time. Community service and extracurricular activities foster good time management, teamwork, and leadership skills that many colleges look for in their students. The extra involvement also helps with scholarships. The more activities you are involved in, the more scholarships you can apply for and hopefully win. Keep track of your involvement and accomplishments with an activities resume. An activities resume is simply a list of all of your activities over the course of your high school career. This activity resume really comes in handy your senior year of high school when you begin applying for scholarships and grants. Instead of typing the same information over and over again, you can attach your activity resume to help save a lot of time and also look professional by doing so. We have a template of an activities resume on our website that you can always use. Thank you for watching and remember to visit the ICANN website at icansucceed.org for additional resources or call one of our eight locations for assistance at 877-272-4692. You can also return to our video library and check out helpful tips on other career and college planning, academic, and financial aid topics. Thank you for listening.